السلام عليكم واهلا بكم في محاضرة جديدة من محاضرات الويب كاستنج يا رب ان شاء الله تكونوا بخير وصحة وسلامة كلكم ونمر كلنا من الفترة العصيبة دي على خير ان شاء الله احنا النهاردة هنتكلم عن موضوع جديد في الويب كاستنج زي ما قلنا قبل كده ان the location of the web casting in the whole domain of the internet based communication or the internet based application is the online distribution of audio and video files uh, we know that the webcasting is one of the main applications that has been offered to us as internet users or uh, as uh, media users uh, in order to publish our own uh, videos our own audio files online to be available for other users to uh, use uh, to use and to interact uh, with actually uh, uh, and therefore uh, today we are going to go over two main uh, basic uh, characteristics or features of the computer mediated communication what is the computer mediated communication computer mediated communication is a communication process and we know the communication process is defined as uh, a transfer of messages, a transfer of data from a source or a creator of a message to a destination to a receiver. This is the general uh, general definition of the communication process. We are having many types of communication like the interpersonal communication, uh, the international communication, the mass communication, the intercultural communication and all other types of communication. So the computer mediated communication is a communication process that is mainly done throughout the computers or any other device that could be connected to the internet. So here the main medium of the communication, the channel of the communication in this communication process is the computers or any device which is compatible with uh, the internet, can be connected to the internet. Uh, so communication processes, communication, mass communication or interpersonal communication uh, that are uh, conducted on the computer can be called computer mediated communication and uh, this uh, term can include all types of uh, online applications all types of uh, online uh, media uh, uh, that we are dealing with on a daily basis so the first uh, characteristic of the computer mediated uh, communication or the internet based uh, applications is interactivity interactivity is a key feature a key value that has been added to the internet in comparison to uh, the older and the traditional media uh, the traditional media outlets include uh, television broadcast, radio broadcast, uh, traditional uh, radio and television broadcast, and the print press, uh, the newspapers and magazines. Interactivity uh, has been added as a feature to uh, these types of media when it comes to the online media. Online radio stations, online uh, television content or video content, audio and video files that are published online, the electronic newspapers, online texts, different texts uh, that can be consumed online uh, are uh, existing in an interactive environment uh, where we as media users can intervene in the content, can modify, can even modify the content, can uh, give our feedback to uh, the content. Uh, there are two main levels of interactivity uh, the first level is uh, to give our feedback to give our opinion in, uh, in the published 
uh, content any type of content that are uh, that is uh, published on to, uh, on the internet and we are uh, using this type of content we can give our feedback we can comment we can reshare uh, if we like this content we can reshare it we can suggest it for um, other users um, and we can uh, communicate directly with uh, the creator of this content by messaging or instant messaging uh, the creator uh, and the second level inter in, in interactivity is to contribute to modifying the original text or the original content we can contribute in creating the content and modifying already existing content like Wikipedia we can uh, re-edit some parts of uh, already published articles we can contribute to modify the already published uh, content and also we are having the opportunity to create our own content to create distribute publish our content and to circulate our content among different uh, online platforms uh, so the interactivity um, can be considered as a more power uh, that has been given to us as media users and internet users more power to control what we are exposing to what we are viewing what we are listening to what we are reading reading and also more power to intervene in the content to modify the content to even create our own content uh, we have uh, a multiplicity of a choices a wide variety of a choices from different types of media content uh, which is available uh, online we can consume uh, consume these uh, types of uh, content at uh, our uh, favorite times anywhere we can uh, use it so we are having more control over uh, the determinants of um, the uh, consumption of these types of media content um, every one of us has uh, their own individualized and unique experience when using uh, the internet when using different types of content each one of us is having uh, the power to choose uh, their favorite type of uh, content to uh, expose to this type of content in the favorite uh, timing and in the favorite place so we have greater choices uh, than before before we are um, only having limited uh, television channels li limited uh, radio stations limited uh, editions of uh, uh, traditional brand press but now we have millions and millions of uh, different types of content that we can uh, use it uh, online so interactivity can be defined as the user's ability to directly intervene in and change uh, the already published content to uh, 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 to not just uh, not only giving our feedback but also to intervene to change what is already uh, existing. Uh, so we have transformed it from um, passive receivers of uh, different types of media content to active receivers or to users users uh, term uh, implies that we are having more control over uh, the uh, viewing experience or uh, the consumption experience of different types of media content or communication messages uh, so we are using different types of content uh, to accomplish different types of purposes and functions uh, personal uh, professional uh, for just communication and connecting with friends or for things that is related to our work or to our education um, and even uh, uh, online applications can be used by uh, traditional media organizations to uh, disseminate to spread their traditional content online to gain some uh, chances of interactivity and uh, greater interaction with uh, the audience so we are no we are no longer uh, mass uh, audiences we are segments of audiences each segment each group of audience with their specific and unique uh, choices 
uh, of uh, favorite type uh, uh, favorite types of content uh, so um, we can say that definitely all the multimedia applications all the internet based application are having interactive features that allow media users internet users to actively um, interact with the content and interact with the creator of the con of the, uh, the content any online platform um, is having uh, the ability to allow us to create our own content to distribute our own content and to share our own content with uh, friends or any other people of the internet users uh, the second important feature of the internet based communication and application is the networking we are participants we are all as media users and internet users are participants in the overall networking of the internet or of the web we are connected uh, within the web with each other each uh, device that can be compatible with the internet can be connected to the internet uh, is a part of this network and also each internet website each social networking sites each uh, video uh, and audio sharing websites uh, blog hosting sites uh, all types of uh, internet based uh, applications and websites and networks are considered to be a network where uh, the network users can be switched the roles of receiver, receivers of the different types of content and also uh, not only receivers but also producers of their own uh, content their own pieces of content um, so each device mobile phones, um, PCs, laptops, um, tablets or any other uh, device is a point in this network is an input and output device input device it's can create uh, new types of content new pieces of content we are uh, publishing our uh, own content pictures, texts, uh, videos uh, on our um, own accounts or pages and also by using our devices we can receive the content that is previously created and published by other users uh, so we are parts of this uh, online network so uh, uh, let's go over uh, the basic difference between the media system and traditional uh, way of production and distribution and the new system um, which is related to the new media and the computer mediated communication previously uh, media uh, messages were produced by large scale organizations the mass media uh, was um, referred to as large scale organizations in which a group of professional people, media practitioners, media producers are creating messages, diversified messages to be delivered to large groups of people large groups of people who are not living in the same place so we were having a center of production the media organization themselves um, newspaper institutions, uh, radio stations, television networks where the centers of media production and media distribution and the media messages the different types of content were created were produced by professional people who were trained to create these types of messages in order to achieve a certain impact uh, on the part of the audience members so uh, this uh, media landscape this traditional media uh, system uh, was characterized by two main things the centralization it was very centralized central production a center of distribution and also it was standardized standardization is 
referring to uh, that there were um, fixed standards of uh, the workflow of the decisions of what is to be tackled in the content and what to be excluded what are what are the professional formats of uh, the different types of content and so on so uh, this uh, environment of media production and uh, distribution uh, was allowing more control and greater control of uh, the state of the government over the media there were restriction, restrictions uh, on, um, on the, the media ownership who can own uh, the media who can create media messages what are the topics that uh, are allowed to be tackled and those who are not allowed and so on so there were more control of the media owner uh, let's say that media owner would be the government or um, maybe a political opposition group or uh, an advertiser um, a businessman or a large corporation or uh, any other um, type of ownership uh, also there were more level of professionalization professionalization referred to the professional way of producing and distributing the messages uh, so there were uh, sharp separation between the media producers and the media uh, consumers the media creators and the media messages receivers uh, media creators are professional people and the media consumers are uh, the ordinary uh, people the large masses of people who are passively receiving uh, the media messages that were previously created by the professional media practitioners uh, the new environment of uh, online media or computer mediated communication is totally different than the previous system which we uh, which were which was uh, standardized and centralized uh, we can call the new media uh, system as a nodes and the web nodes and a web uh, in comparison to the previous system of the center and a circle center of production and distribution and a circle of masses of receivers or audience members nowadays we are nodes in a large web web is the network the internet network and uh, there are millions and millions of points of nodes which are connected to each other each node or each point can serve as uh, a data input and data output data input to create uh, messages to create and publish content and also uh, to receive uh, messages and content produced by other users uh, um, so uh, here the computer device or any other device that we are using to connect to the internet and uh, use any uh, online application uh, any website uh, is uh, an input and output device can create content publish content or own content and also receive and use other uh, types of content that were previously uh, created by other users, other participants in the general web, other internet users. Whether the, 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 these creators or these users are professional people or amateur people, ordinary uh, media users or ordinary internet uh, users. So each device we are using is a networked device that is uh, participating in creating the whole picture of the web the overall network in which we are interacting with each other uh, so uh, now we can differentiate between the two systems of communication the traditional system of communication where the communication process was directional one-way process from a center which is the media organization and the circle around this center large group of 
uh, large groups of massive receivers of the media messages that were created, produced by professional people in the media organization. And here is the new system of media uh, production, distribution, and consumption, where there are many and many people, many and many nodes in the web, many and many users, amateurs and professionals, they are connecting with each other and they are switching roles of uh, media consumer, message receivers and media creators, media producers, the message, uh, the senders of the messages. So this type, this old type of uh, uh, communication we're from one center to many people here many people are communicating with many people the roles of producers and consumers are switchable any one of us can consume content produced by other users amateurs and professionals and also can produce uh, their own content and distribute it online to be available for other users to uh, consume. وبكده يبقى احنا النهارده انهينا الجزء ده المتعلق بالكي فيتشرز of the computer mediated communication او الاختصار بتاعها CMC. CMC is uh, is a short form of the computer mediated communication. اشوفكم على خير المره الجايه ان شاء الله. Uh, وأي سؤال لحضراتكم تقدروا uh, تسألونا على الفيسبوك جروب uh, بتاعتنا تقدروا تسألوا uh, أي سؤال له علاقة بمحاضرة النهاردة و take care.